On March the 20th, 2016, passed away at the age of 93, um, Mr. Anker Jörgensen, a former Prime Minister of Denmark. He was a social democrat. He both was born and died in Copenhagen, Denmark's capital. He served as the Danish Prime Minister from October 1972 to December 1973 and again from February 1975 until his resignation in September 1982. Um, he did not manage to effectively fight against the economic crisis of the 1970s and early 1980s, but many Danes uh, generally respected and even loved him and continued to do so because he was considered an honest politician and also one uh, who did not flaunt his high political position but rather lived during his several years as the Danish Prime Minister in a small apartment in Copenhagen's working class area. Um, he managed to maintain, through his down-to-earth and earnest um, behavior, wide support for the Danish welfare state. He had to contend with the sudden rise of the anti-tax, populist and far-right Progress Party, led by the controversial um, lawyer Mr. Uh, Morgens Omons Blistrup. In the 1973 Danish parliamentary elections, uh, this neophyte party, anti-establishment party, received in mainland Denmark almost 16% of the vote and became the second largest party. However, in the parliamentary elections of 1975, 1977 and 1979, um, Mr. Jörgensen was able to increased the Social Democrats' support significantly. They gained a total of 22 seats. However, in the 1981 parliamentary election, their support started to slide. They lost nine seats, dropping to 59 seats, and then because he was unable to persuade the Danish parliament to agreed to his economic program or budget in September 1982. Prime Minister Jörgensen resigned and was replaced by the Danish Conservative People's Party's leader, Mr. Paul Sluda, who would serve as the Prime Minister until 1993. The Social Democrats would, however, then return to power in 1993 and would hold power until 2001 and again from 2011 to 2015.